Hello, hello, hello. It should hello? be good. Had to make sure it was actually on. Hello from the other side. As you all may know, especially if you're on the East Coast, it has been very cloudy, very rainy, very gross weather. So it's actually like in the 50s today and it's mm -hmm. sunny. It's really nice. And we were like, you know what? Virginia Beach is only like an hour drive from where we are. Let's just go to the beach, take Sophie to the beach for the first time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really empty. It's not busy at all. There wasn't even traffic. No. We had no traffic, which is, I don't know the last time I came to the beach without traffic. Yeah. We walked around a little bit, did some training, because we thought it'd be a great environment to kind of train with her. Like, she's never been here. Right. Whenever we take her to a new place, she is a little extra, you know, all over. Mm -hmm. You know, looking around, jumping around, trying to go sniff that, go sniff this. So, yeah. it was a good training session first. Yeah, so we're gonna take her um, jacket off and I'm gonna walk her down to the beach area because obviously mm -hmm. Cole can go all the way down there. Mm -hmm. um, and then see how she enjoys the water, the sand. It'll be very interesting to see. And we have a new stabilizer. Mm -hmm. It's a Ronin stabilizer. So we're gonna see if we can get some epic, like cool cinematic shots maybe of Sophie. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Uh, we already saw her face in the wind and oh my gosh, <laughs> her face looks so funny with all the wind like, in it. Yeah, and she's like... <laughs> we, we didn't anticipate how windy it was going to be. It's mm -hmm. super windy. So I don't think we're going to be able to get any like audio. So this is just might be a little nice uh, music video. Like a little cinematic <laughs> yeah. beach music video. Yes. <laughs> I think I think she, Sophie will enjoy <laughs> the sand. I think she'll be a little bit skeptical at the beginning because that's always the case. Yeah. But then she warms up and she really enjoys it. So. I'm curious if she'll get in the water at all. It'll be freezing. I think she might touch and be like, oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> ah, that's what she's gonna say so dogs are allowed off leash on the beach mm -hmm. home girl isn't gonna run far away from us no. like if anything if she if i take her off the leash and she gets a little worried she's gonna run back to cole which is fine she can run back to you but she's never she's not gonna go away from us she's really like wants to stay next to you she's really yeah. weird about that which is good we want her to stay next to us mm -hmm. um so i'll probably take her off the leash once we get on the beach and walk towards the water and stuff and you and can see chase her around with a stabilizer mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, i hope this comes out good i'm nervous this is putting my like the skills to the test my, yeah my filming skills oh, to the test you're gonna be great i'll get some cinematic stuff of you you want to get some cinematic stuff of me you think i can hold the stabilizer <laughs> we'll see that thing's heavy. It is heavy. We might need to make some accessibility attachments so I can hold on to it. It's about seven pounds total, I think. Good All thing right. you got guns. <laughs> Ow. Oh, my hand. It's like granite. Why do you say tss when you hit it? I don't know. You're about to make a beat. Are you good? Gets me out of breath. All right, let's get out there. Let's see how she does. Cool. Oh. Commence. Wait, wait. Are we going to show him the, the stabilizer first? This camera, yo, I'm so about it. Peekaboo! I see you! It goes back and forth. I like it. Ooh, that was in my ear. Yeah, That sorry. was loud. Standing on the porch in the night Thinking how we used to be way back in time In time Barefoot on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes, yeah Can you remember when we were young and free Like queens up on the throne
Good girl. Good job, Sophie. Good girl. Good girl. Is that really close? Oh, that good? the sun went behind the clouds. That looks real nice. Okay, let's do it now while we can. Okay, all right, quick. So that was really fun. I think Sophie enjoyed the water. She was having a blast. She mm -hmm. was, like as soon as her paws hit the sand, yeah. it was zoomy central out yeah. there. Yeah. And she was running all over the place. How far out into the water did she go? I had to stay up on my little pad, but she didn't get too far out into the water. There were birds in the water, and she just love chasing birds she and squirrels animals. and so she started chasing the birds and i was like oh my gosh Sophie, don't go so far like <laughs> but she wasn't gonna go too far she had a blast yeah. it was kind of hard to get footage of her with the stabilizer because she wants to like play with you like all right up on you when she's not doing that which is hard to get because she's all up in your grill then she's sprinting around so fast that it's hard to even follow her with the camera mm -hmm, <laughs> but mm -hmm. i think you did a good job Thank you. It was heavy. It was really heavy. And then she was pulling on me, which is why I let her, I had to let her leash go and take her off because I couldn't do both. And I was like, all right, yeah, we'll see what happens. I trusted her 90%. So I think that's a lot. Well, I think we, I think we'd have even more trust now because yeah. she didn't like run away. She was definitely a little distracted with like all the stimulus and stuff, but mm -hmm. she stayed around. At one point, like she, I was trying to get her to not come to me and she kept staying by me and kept staying by me. I was like, stop, like go so I can film you. Like you're like right next to me. I can't film you, but we'll probably get a lens that like, this is a 50 millimeter, which is super close. Like right now, I mean, we're kind of far away from yeah. it and it's like in a, all up in our grill. Yeah. Cameras are complicated. Yeah, seriously. So complicated. But anyways, it this, was fun. This was a nice getaway mm -hmm. because we were getting a little restless just not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like we are people that love to travel. We feel like we can get it out of our system a little bit with yeah. a little beach trip. And so yeah. hopefully things are back to quasi normal and we can go places again. Yeah. And it's actually pretty nice like wearing a mask because it keeps you warm. And I'm like... This is nice, keeping me warm. It's cold, yeah. my face is warm, I'm protected. We wanna travel, and I know a lot of y'all who are very into travel and wanderlust people, I think y'all are feeling the itch as well, and it's a becoming a nice large- nice word. <laughs> what? You broke out wanderlust? Yeah, I wanted that as a tattoo, and I still do. Wow. That was a really good word in this instance. I would get that tattooed with you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's one thing Cole and I want to do. We want to get tattoos together. Oh, we could do that. Yeah? I was thinking about getting a few things. Mm -hmm. We can both get Wonderlust. You'll get a pineapple. Yes. And I'll get... I was thinking, I want something that has to do with, like, gratitude. I looked up a symbol for gratitude, but I did not like what it looked like. No, it's not a good, it's not like a no. tattoo ceiling symbol. I have three already, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like, they always say once you get one tattoo, you like- Can't stop. Can't stop, and I want a fourth one, and a fifth, and a sixth, and seventh. I was thinking about just starting out with a sleeve. Yeah, just go all the a way. A whole sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Cole doesn't really know where he wants to get it. He doesn't know if he should get his tattoo yeah. where he can feel, or where he can't feel. I don't know if I could handle the pain, frankly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if my body would be happy with it happening where I can't feel because I think my autonomic dysreflexia might kick in and let's start sweating and be really uncomfortable. Yeah. Tattoo you know? pain is its own kind of pain. And I remember trying to like scratch myself really hard to kind of like get an idea of what the pain will feel like. The only tattoos I have are all my ribs where it's like the most painful. It literally feels like someone's like scratching your bone, like taking a scapula yeah. and like scratching your bone. And then I could feel it in my head. You could feel it. It was... That sounds miserable. It's not a good feeling. You're not encouraging at all but right I, now. You're not going to get a rib tattoo, though. No. He's going to get a tattoo like where there's a lot of like meat, and it's not going to hurt as bad. Well, we're going to head back home and mm -hmm. cook up some dinner and I think have like a movie night. Cole got yeah. me to watch Catch Me, Catch me If You Can. Great movie. It is Leo, good. Tom Hanks. I can't believe it's based off a true story. Like, that man that did that. Wow. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay positive. Yay! You missed. I won't next time. Come here. Oh, come here.